Hi everybody, welcome in. Thanks so much for being here. This is the Connected Conduit and I'm going to do a general reading for you guys. Only take it if it fits, okay? Okay, so the channeled message coming through from Spirit for the Collective is stop procrastinating and go for it. Go for whatever it is that you've been putting off, that you've been putting on the back burner, that you've been saying, oh, okay, I'm going to do that, but maybe tomorrow. Um, pursue your gifts, pursue your talents, register for that course. Um, that's just the message coming through. It's like the time is now. The time is now. Stop procrastinating. You know what you need to do. And the time is now. If you're distracted, if you've been distracted and your focus has been like all over the place, um, your energy has been divided, having a lot of responsibilities and things like this, Spirit's asking you to come back to center and take a look at maybe how you can balance out your life a little bit, have more time for yourself, have more time for you, okay? Two of Ariel, <laughs> I was just talking about balance. And the, the card of balance comes out. It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once. Making work fun. It, well, there you go. <laughs> that message is, excuse me, <clears throat> just confirmed. That's exactly what I was talking about. So yeah, if you have a lot going on, your energy is all over the place. You know, it can be a good thing, but it can also drain you. And it, it it's like if you have a lot of things going on at once, it's like nothing really gets completed, okay? Because I know I'm one of those people who will start a project and then I'll get distracted, I'll start another one. And then I'll d get distracted from that and I'll start another one. And I have all these projects going at once, but I don't have one single project that is completed. And then my, my attention is like divided and I'm scattered. So the only reason I'm saying that is because I know from personal experience what that's like. So maybe it's time to, you know, focus on just one thing. If, if you've been thinking about doing that or if your intuition has been nudging you in that direction, then that's just confirmation for you. But definitely find, finding balance within your day and within work. Um, having work life, ba work life balance, work play balance, that's been coming up a lot in the messages. Make sure that you're working hard, but also playing hard, having fun, relaxing. Getting out into nature. Page of Gabriel, energetic, brave, optimistic, playful. We were just talking about playing. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. You guys, you can't make it up. See, I said, now's the time. Spirit's saying, now is the time to follow your passions, to go after what you want, to take that course, whatever it is to apply for that job, to start that YouTube channel or that platform, to create your website, to write that book, to learn pottery. I don't know why pottery is coming through, but it is. To open up your own shop. Okay, whatever it is, whatever excites you, Whatever gets, you know, whatever lights you up and fills you with happiness is what you should be following, is what you should be doing. So it says, follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. There you go. Page of Gabriel, which is like the page of wands, you guys. And the two of Ariel is the equivalent, um, is the two of two of pentacles right? Trying to, to maintain balance, having lots of things going at once.
Beautiful. You are ready. You're ready for this, see? So it might be something that you've been considering for a long time, but just sort of putting off. Queen of Michael, brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. See? Put yourself first. Okay, if I'm only confirming what you already know intuitively. Okay, so this message is not going to be for everyone. It's going to be only if it makes sense to you, if it resonates to you, with you, okay? You're ready. You know what to do. And Spirit says, okay. No more procrastinating. Let's go. It's time to take action. It's time to take those next steps. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. Follow your heart. You've got what it takes. You know what to do. Your, you know, your dreams are waiting for you. You've just got to take action on them. Don't be afraid. Um, pursue your gifts is what I heard at the beginning. Like, pursue your gifts. Pursue your talents. Six of wands. Success. Victory. Promotion at work. Um, a promotion even within the field that you already are in. Okay. But whatever you're about to embark on, it's going to be very successful. You will be recognized. Many of you could be in the public eye. But it's time for a promotion. It's time to pursue your gifts, your passions, to go after what you want. The chariot. The chariot, you guys. See? The time is now. Go for it. You've got the green light from spirit. It's time to take action. Believe in yourself. You've got this. Ace of Pentacles. A solid, solid investment in something that's going to grow. The Ace of Pentacles is a seed. It's an opportunity. You can take this seed and you can go into this garden gate here and you can plant it, invest in it, and it will grow and it will be very fruitful and abundant. But it's at, you know, the ace, which is the very beginning. So, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever you're about to embark on, you're just starting. You're just, you're just getting going, but it's going to be very successful. Right? We have the, an ace of pentacles and we have the page of wands. It's like whatever you're pursuing or about to do, it's a risk because it's not established, but it's something very close to your heart that you're passionate about and you're excited to do. And Spirit's saying it will be successful. Okay, and with the Queen of Michael, which is the Queen of Swords, that's you getting very clear, focused on your career, right? The Queen of Swords, she doesn't have time for love. She's not the Queen of Cups. She's the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Head over heart at this time. Of course, that's not to say to neglect your relationships, but it's just time to get really focused on your career. Page of Wands came out twice. Page of Wands, Page of Gabriel. Wow, that's just more confirmation. And I saw the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. It's like, don't give up. You're, you're almost there. Hi, Priestess. Follow your gifts. So many of you could have spiritual gifts that you're wanting to develop or tap into. 
If so, that's your confirmation with the High Priestess coming out. Many of you have hidden talents. Spirit is telling me this right now, that many of you have hidden talents and gifts that you're not even aware of. 1010 as I say that. You're not even aware of these gifts yet. They're like laying dormant within you and you're about to discover them by trying something new, exploring. And as you explore, you're going to discover more and more and more about yourself. It's all about the journey of self-discovery. Okay. I feel like you have a gift from a past life, if you believe in that, which I do, but I'm picking that up. You have a gift from a past life that has been lying dormant in your soul for quite some time. And in this lifetime, you're meant to unlock it Harness that power and do something with it. Two of Cups. The Two of Cups coming out in this reading for me is about aligning, like balance within the self, finding your soul path. It's the soul. I was just talking about the soul and you have something in the soul. That's just really heavily coming through with the High Priestess and the Two of Cups. Yeah, see, Queen of Cups coming out. Many of you are, are very um, intuitive, psychic, empathic. You have these gifts that maybe you're slightly aware of, but you're not really sure what to do with them. Okay, if that's the case, find a mentor, you guys. Go online and find a reputable mentor that can help you with your gifts. Okay. I'm hearing like you want to create a business, but you're not too sure where to start. So maybe business classes. I'm picking up but this is part of like psychic abilities mediumship healing you're a healer and you can do that in so many ways you guys right yeah ten of cups king of wands keep your eyes on your future keep your eyes on your dreams stay focused this is your time. This is your time for your career. It's leading you to success, your ultimate wish for fulfillment, 10 of cups. You're meant to lead. I'm hearing like you're brilliant. You're brilliant. And I'm, yeah, again, we have brilliant up here with the queen of Michael. So if you've been doubting yourself, stop it. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. No more doubt, no more fear. Okay, if you ever have these negative thoughts, they must go. So the first thing is to be aware of them. So let's just say, you know, oh, I'm not good enough to do that. You're going to acknowledge that thought. Then you're going to wrap it in a bubble of light and you're going to clear you're going to say clear cancel release and then imagine the bubble dissolving those words and they're gone because that just has no place no place within you those are lies you are good enough you can do this okay i just felt the need to say that so Release those negative thoughts. The world. This could have something to do with a platform, like I was saying. So you, a website that you want to open or a business. Maybe you're on the world stage, a performer, a singer. You could be doing, I'm getting mediumship on um, like the platform, like in front of a huge crowd and you go up and and you do yeah you channel messages 
for people. I'm getting that. I just heard relinquish control. So, okay, why did I hear that? Why did I hear that for the collective? Relinquish control. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> because it's out of your hands. <laughs> so let go. Things are moving. And I mean, obviously we do have control over our thoughts and our actions and, and things like this. We do. But there are some things that are just out of our hands that we can't control. And Spirit's saying relinquish control. Control what you can. Let go of the rest. Because this is fated. It's destiny. Um, the divine has a hand in this. This is a sacred plan. There's a bigger plan. The divine is involved here. It's it, This is big. <laughs> this is really big. This is your destiny. So let go. Let go of control because it's coming in. Things are moving. And oh, thank you. They're saying that you're digging your heels in and resisting a little bit. You're resisting the change. They're saying, let go, like, let it happen. Let go. Four of cups. Yeah, you might not be. <laughs> satisfied right now. You could be feeling a bit bored, like nothing's happening, but Spirit's saying things are going to pick up with the world and the Wheel of Fortune here. They're going to pick up speed very quickly. And ch the Chariot. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at the Four of Cups and I'm thinking about Relinquish Control and then... Spirit is making me feel like you're wanting to almost reject this path or reject these gifts that you have or reject this opportunity that's coming in towards you. Like, I don't want that. I don't want this. Like, why did you give these gifts to me? <laughs> why is this my, why is this my path? Like, I didn't ask for this. That's what's, that's what I'm getting. And Spirit's saying, I'm sorry, but you, you just have to like, let go, relinquish control and go with the flow and accept this because, because it's happening with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's happening. It's your destiny. So embracing it will make it less, less painful, right? See, I split the deck on the hangman. Letting go, letting go of control. Release, surrender, surrender. And then I split the deck on the Ten of Swords. Let go. Surrender, let go. Wow. Okay. King of Pentacles. I'm getting... A couple things with this one is that you're going to many of you will have your own successful business whatever you're about to embark on is going to bring in a lot of financial success for you it's going to be extremely stable as well long lasting long term abundance And I'm also getting the energy of somebody else coming into your life to assist you along your path to help you. And it's a king of pentacles. So it's somebody who could be, again, your mentor. It could be somebody who's really good with money and they come in to assist you. Obviously, be very careful with that. You want to make sure that this is like a professional who, you know, you don't just want to trust anybody with, with your money. Okay, but I just mean if you're, you know, going into a financial institution, then you are going to have somebody who's going to really help you with that marketing for I'm getting marketing. 
or somebody who could be really good and um, helpful when it comes to your website or marketing for your business. But there needs to be this like <clears throat> radical acceptance because you're headed towards like a lot of money <laughs> with the Ten of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles. And you might have come from nothing or you might have been down, your finances might have been quite low for a while, but that's about to change. Yeah, see the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Rods came out. We have the seven of pentacles on the bottom. So for some of you, you might feel like you're wanting to give up on this dream because, or this career or this project because it's been burdensome and maybe you're just barely scraping by financially right now and you're ready to, to drop it. Okay, that's that's one side message, but spirit saying like don't don't give up. Don't give up. Like you're so close. You're so close to having success with this, to having a breakthrough. And for others of you, you know, you you've spent men, much of your life maybe with not a lot of money, okay? In the 5 of pentacles, like barely scraping by, and that's about to change very drastically for you. Let's get um a card on that. Wow. Let's get a card on the five of pentacles, please. Now we have the king of swords coming out and the strength card. What's coming through too is feelings of self, um, self-worth. Like having the courage and the strength to believe in yourself. To push past any lack mentality mindset. You are enough. You can do this. You do have enough resources. You know, sometimes when we have, um, you might not be able to do exactly what you want. Like, for example, maybe you want a big, big restaurant, okay? Fancy restaurant, you wanna own it and, and all the things. But you only have enough money for maybe a small little, like a food truck or something, or a small little restaurant somewhere. Just start, start there, start small, right? Because you do have the resources. Um, and maybe it's just a matter of getting a little bit creative Okay, because limitations inspire inspirations, creative inspirations. So releasing, you know, things having to be a certain way at a specific time and they have to look like this and dun 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 dun. If it doesn't check all my boxes, then forget it. It's um almost like a perfectionism thing coming through. And Spirit's really encouraging the collective to, hey, listen, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just start somewhere. Okay. And also rel relinquish control. Relinquish control because if things are gonna things are gonna flow. Five of Wands, Temperance. Can I get a card on the Five of Wands? Three of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're conflicted on how to expand. You're not sure what the next step should be. Five of Wands, Three of Wands. So that's just backing up what I was saying. Two of Pentacles again. Should I, shouldn't I? It's also having lots on the go, right? Multitasking.
And if this is something you're doing with other people, perhaps you guys have clashing opinions, you have differing opinions, you're not on the same page. Okay, there could be competition, arguments. This could also just signify like an internal battle that you're having in terms of your future. So if you're struggling with your next steps, Spirit's just saying, go for what, you know, choose heart-based decisions, go after your passions. Um, the Knight of Wands flew out. Go after your passions, go after what makes you happy. Embrace your gifts, whatever gifts those are. Eight of Wands, moving forward quite quickly. Something's about to come in very suddenly for you. It's the tower. It's life-changing in a good way. Queen of Wands behind that. And it's something that the divine is bringing in for you. Because it's destined, it's part of your destined path here with the Wheel of Fortune. So just open up, open up to your gifts. Try not to resist. Um, the more we can go with the flow, the easier life is. And if you're struggling on what steps to take next, how to expand and grow... Just know you're going to be receiving, you're going to be receiving communication of some sort that comes in very quickly. It's quite shocking, sudden, and it's going to change everything for you in a good way. So if you've been feeling, if you've been feeling stuck, just know that that's, there will be something coming in for you that will shift things. But there's success here. Just keep moving forward, okay? Keep moving forward. Now's the time. Stop procrastinating. Um, if you've been going back and forth about something for, for a while, Spirit's saying, okay, you've had enough time to, to research, to think about this, to make your plan. And there comes a point where you just have to kind of jump in and do it. Okay. Just get a couple oracles and then we'll close out. There we go. A fiery climax approaches. Wow, that's in line with the tower, you guys. Big, sudden, drastic change. Something's about to happen for you. Big, big, big energy there. Make a decision came out. <laughs> oh my God. Spirit, you're so funny. 19, make a decision. <laughs> Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you toward your own joy. You deserve it. Okay, so that literally clarifies everything that this message has been about. Right here, right now. That is what the message started out as. And now we're wrapping up with the same message. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, prioritize yourself, put yourself first, not another person or another situation. Accept the divine guidance, pointing you towards your joy, accept it. See, stop resisting. <laughs> the divine is trying to help you along your path. This is fated for you. So let go of control. We got that message very clearly. Surrender, relinquish control. You deserve it. You deserve it. So 
like I was saying, you are worthy, five of pentacles. You are good enough. You can do this. You deserve it. No more negative thoughts. Banish those negative thoughts. They have no place within your mind. No place whatsoever. And I just have to point out that on the bottom of the deck, it says, take control of your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. Okay. Wow. Great reading, you guys. So stay focused. Uh, follow your heart. Do what brings you joy. You have a lot of talent. You have what it takes. You really do. You're just starting out <clears throat> and it could be a bit scary because it feels like a risk. You're just starting out. But just know, Spirit's got your back. This is meant for you. It's going to turn out. You are good enough. You will be successful. And you do have support coming towards you. Both divine support and people in the 3D who are, met, who are aligned with you on your path. Who you will meet. Okay? And collaborate with. So there you go wow beautiful so you know what to do a time for career rather than relationships or other situations going on in your life okay time to make a decision two of pentacles going back and forth up and down about something but staying kind of in one spot now's the time here we go no more no more procrastination right? Let's do this. Let's do the thing. Okay. You're good enough. You're awesome. You're amazing. You've got this. You have everything it takes within you to follow your passions and your heart desires. Stay optimistic and everything else will fall into place. Okay. You guys, if you enjoyed this message, please exchange your energy with me. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you. As always, I'm sending you love and light, and I wish you so much luck on your journey. I'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care.